Brian was happily working as a production welder at a company in his hometown when the unimaginable happened. The company offshored all positions, a situation that could have been devastating. Next on Elevate Iowa, Brian finds great opportunity in the face of great opposition. Welcome to the new Iowa. Elevated past all notions of manufacturing. When manufacturing is exciting, clean, and a career worth talking about. The Iowa Advanced Manufacturing Grant for the state's 15 community colleges to focus on manufacturing in new and meaningful ways. And these are their stories. Brian Helm was an accomplished production welder at Gitz, a company that made automotive components. But one day, bad news set in. I was actually gone on the Monday they announced it and uh, got a phone call from a friend that I worked with. He said, hey, it finally happened. Uh, there had been rumors circulating for quite a while, uh, four or five months, that a possibility that it would close or we would reduce a lot of uh, employees there and they kind of made the call that they're going to move operations to China and Mexico. So everybody kind of took that pretty hard because Gitz has been in the Crescent community for over 75 years, but luckily the community kind of surrounded, you know, kind of gave us a big hug, you know, uh, saying, you know, it's going to be all right. The strongest support for Brian came from education professionals who visited Gitz. What can a person do with an education? Brian found that answer at Southwestern Community College. Swick came out there, uh, the local Iowa workforce came out there to uh, kind of get us started on our next chapter. At first I just wanted to get back to work. Um, that's all I really knew, you know. But then I got to hearing about the uh, industrial maintenance program here. And I knew working in manufacturing uh, seeing what the maintenance guys did on a daily basis, working with their hands, something different. So I said, hey, sign me up for that. Uh, you know, got all the financial aid stuff rolling, um, unemployment, and they were really helpful with that, SWIC and our workforce too, uh, with getting me set up uh, with classes, because I started uh, in the f spring, so it was kind of, Shuffling the classes around was a little difficult at first, but got things settled, so. Well, let's face it. Every company out there has got a need for maintenance people right now, it seems like. And they're having a terrible time finding the people with the skill sets that they need. Uh, when I started years ago, I was fortunate. I could walk in off the street and go to work on a job. So I've kind of from the school of hard knocks, if you will, on industrial maintenance. Nowadays, with the cost of the machines, with just-in-time uh, manufacturing techniques and everything, we can't afford to have a machine down in Creston, Iowa, because it might affect a machine uh, a factory in, let's say, California or New York State, because they're waiting on those parts. So they're needing people that's got a skill set that can come in and immediately be able to pick up on the needs of the plant and how to do those troubleshooting uh, skills and everything that they need. Uh, this is a PLC, it's a Micrologics 1400. Um, and then this is an HMI, it's a human machine interface. Right now I've programmed it to simulate a motor turning on, which is the light. Uh, I press the start button on the touch screen and it will latch the light on, uh, just like you would a motor if you wanted to start it. The program was started because of the uh, Department of Labor grant that the state of Iowa, the community colleges of the state of Iowa got, of which SWIC, uh, Southwestern here, got uh, approximately $900,000 to start this program. By using that money, it was it gave us the opportunity to get the, the trainers that you've seen in the classroom and uh, some of the materials that we need and, uh, of course, my salary and everything. But more importantly, after the program was beginning to evolve, uh, if you notice around the room, I've got several thank you uh, to different companies. Those are people that are on my advisory committee. And so there are industries within our region that uh, have said, yeah, we want to partner with you. We want to be involved with you. And so my entire program has basically been run through them to uh, make sure that the curriculum is what they want, 
uh, that the skill set that we are teaching is within the lines of what industry and the entire area needs, not just an individual industry. And so they've been very uh, instrumental in helping with this, but it would not have started if it hadn't been for the grant monies that we received. But it is connected through uh, RS32 cable uh, to communicate from the HMI to the PLC. Uh, so this will be over there with my conveyor and motor for my quality control. Brian, used to being a hard worker from his welding days, wanted to use his new skills as quickly as possible. He was ready to get to work. With the help of Iowa Workforce, he quickly found the satisfaction of using his new skills. I said, hey, hook me up with a job. And they're like, all right. So we put in several, they helped me out with a new resume, put in several different resumes around uh, this area. And Ferraro was the first one to, you know, call me. I sat down with them and they said, hey, we're willing to give you an internship for the summer here. And I said, sounds good to me. We make uh, gummy candy that's uh, and fruit snacks. So that's our our main staples here. Our most popular and what we make the most of is trolley. Uh, trolley is our biggest brand here. We're the largest manufacturer in the company for trolley. Uh, it's our bread and butter. And uh, it's stuff that you see every day in every store across the United States. So uh, we're the largest non-chocolate candy producer in the United States. So yes, as a company, um, billion dollar company now. Uh, Brian, uh, he was a, was a good, good experience for us. Don't have to have all the knowledge in the world, um, but willing to learn and then having some general background where he would see something and go, oh yeah, I remember that from school. So it, it was a wonderful experience and he did a great job for us. The reason I chose to get into industrial maintenance was uh, because of the variety of things you do on a daily basis. Uh, when I was at Gitz, I did welding. Um, and it was kind of a production welding, but with industrial maintenance, you do everything. Uh, you do the welding, you do troubleshooting, electrical, uh, plumbing, HVAC, you, you do it all. So that really interests me because I love working with my hands. And uh, and I know watching the maintenance guys at Gitz, you know, they, they were paid a little bit better than I. And that was intriguing too, but it was mostly just the, the skill set you need to, to be a maintenance person. And, and I've talked to the HR lady there, Robin, and she said, uh, right now we don't have a maintenance position, but she says, once May comes, she says, call me, we'll find something for you. So uh, that's, that's really awesome because um, you know, after losing your job and then, you know, people saying, hey, we want you, you did a good job. I mean, it makes you, it makes you feel good. So uh, really grateful for the opportunity that they gave me, that our workforce gave me, SWIC gave me. The initiative Brian took to intern over one summer has turned into one sweet career, a career as a maintenance technician at Ferrara Candy Company.